Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Boardsy, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the SteelSeries AROX 3 Wireless, and this is a very weird mouse. Um, honestly, I can't remember the last time I've used a mouse where I just didn't know if it was good or bad. Like, basically half of the features on this mouse are just terrible and despite that I still enjoy using the mouse it's really weird and the shape doesn't even work for me um, but I'll explain everything in the review but first thing I'm going to talk about is build quality I would say it's like sort of in like the mid tier for build quality where you can get the sides to activate if you do put in a bit of pressure but the mouse doesn't feel super weak overall it's not like a fucking HK gaming mouse um, there is a ton of like creative on the bottom because they do have a ton of holes on the bottom and it just makes it really weak overall another thing is I can activate the DPI button by like barely putting any pressure um, and you can see like I'm not pressing it I'm just pressing the bottom of the mouse and this has happened a few times like in game when I just like pick up my mouse and like slam it down um, it's actually managed to activate the DPI button and that is a major yikes obviously I could just disable it um, but you don't want that happening on your fucking mouse um, so it's just weak overall and the build quality isn't top tier so it is just something to keep in mind also the RGB it looks better on the bottom than it does anywhere else on the mouse like look how fucking boring this looks but now look at how amazing this looks um, I just wish they went for some cooler RGB implementation if they're gonna go for it at all on a wireless mouse um, also the RGB turns off when you move the mouse so it's like just at least add an option for that it's just kind of a yikes this mouse feels really scuffed overall um, but I don't really know next thing I'm going to talk about is the clicks they are some fucking uh, I forgot the name gold IPS micro whatever 55 57 54 I don't care um, they feel sort of similar to TTC golds pretty snappy um, however if you do click at the top of the mouse like up here it's just a mess um, it's really like too light almost i never thought i would say that but it's too light there's like pre-travel and uh the post travel on this mouse it can be pretty bad and there is a lot of play as well um only on my left click though and it's because i'm using this click more so i just don't really know how these are going to hold up over time also if you do click like towards the bottom like over here That just simply does not sound good. Um, and I don't know. The clicks in actual use, they feel great. I'm not going to lie. Um, and the feedback on your hand is pleasant. And it's better than Omron 20Ms, but the durability is iffy. And like so is the quality. Um, I'm not a fan of side play, but it doesn't affect me too much where I actually click the mouse, which is relatively far down. Um, the coating is pretty good. It's similar to like the uh, Viper Mini or Pulse Fire Haste, where it's not going to be picking up any sweat, but um, after time, it does start to pick up dirt. I cleaned my mouse before the video because it was looking fucking disgusting, uh, but that's just something to note. I'm pretty happy with the coating, though. It does matter a lot on mice, and I feel like some people undervalue it. Um, the feet, this is something that a ton of people have been complaining about. These are fucking razor thin. You can literally barely notice that they exist exist um they're not like 100 percent virgin ptfe i wish they just went for a fucking normal mouse foot design like i don't even know when in doubt just fucking do zowie glides that would definitely work on this mouse um anything aside from 0.1 millimeter thick fucking circles that are also tapered and overall just a nightmare um if you put a ton of pressure on your mouse um, they're going to be like really scratchy and loud. I'm not going to do a demonstration of that. I think too much tech did a fucking good, like complaining video about that. But for me, when I fingertip, um, I'm barely putting any pressure on the mouse and the feet actually glide pretty well on every mouse pad I use. Um, but if you do start putting a lot of pressure onto your mouse, these feet are going to be terrible and there aren't replacements yet, but you could fucking improvise. Uh, Fuck, uh, did I talk about shape? Oh, uh, shape, a wonderful thing. So the shape of this mouse is really made for claw, and if you don't play claw grip, you might as well not even be considering this mouse. Um, I'm going to do some high-quality B-roll now. I hope you guys do enjoy this. Um, and it has a hump towards the back of the mouse. 
Uh, but it the mouse itself just isn't really that wide. So for me personally, with 20 by 11 hands, um, it just doesn't really work well. I can't get a consistent like grip of it. Um, it just feels sort of slippery. If the mouse was a bit bigger or if my hands were a bit smaller, it would be much better. Um, but this shape is definitely safe for a majority of people. And I'm pretty sure Claw is the most popular grip. So they just made a mouse that was going to be pretty safe for a, a lot of people. Pretty sure this is very close to the Rival 3 shape as well. Um, one thing I really don't like about this shape, though, are these, like, sort of sharp flares. And you can see on the camera, like, how sharp they are. And for me, when I try to, like, play my natural fingertip, these get in the way. And on the right side, just, like, it is not a good situation. It really, it's fucking irritating. So I wish it was, like, a sort of, like, I don't know, more, like, curved design similar to the XM1 where it, like, isn't, like, pointy and it just, like, kind of, like, naturally does it. I, I don't fucking know. But also, like, for me personally, I just prefer the XM1 way more because it is wider and the hump just actually like, fills out a lot of my um, palm while this mouse, it just doesn't do that. Um, but for plenty of people with hands, I'd say, like, under 19 centimeters and under, under 10 cm wide, this will be a great claw shape. And this mouse is 66 grams, I believe, and with no cable, um, it feels amazing. And I'm not going to lie, like, wireless mice, you just do get, like, more range of motion. Like, even if you have a paracord, it just still feels like you're more free with a wireless mouse. I don't know what it is, but I definitely noticed it um, when I was fucking playing this mouse, like, testing it out. And the weight balance of this mouse, it feels pretty fine. Like, this is the uh, makeshift weight balance test, and... Uh, I mean, I don't know, the weight feel of this mouse, it's just, like, perfect. Even though this isn't, like, a shape that I love, just, like, swiping this mouse around, I appreciate how nice it feels. And it's pretty sick that this is going to be the uh, future of, like, gaming mice, like, wireless and shit. Um, I'm a fan of the way this mouse feels, and, like, the shape, it can be good for a lot of people, but so many of the features are just fucking dog shit that I don't understand, like, how you could really justify $100 for this mouse. And these side buttons just fucking blow. There's no way around it. These are uh, really not good side buttons. Uh, here's a sound test. They sound all right, um, but they're really skinny, really sharp, and uh, Mouse 4 has a good bit of pre-travel. And when the switches really don't even feel like they're traveling, you don't want any pre-travel. Also, here's a close-up of the coating. It's, like, textured. I don't know. I'm a fan of it, like I said. Uh, the scroll wheel also barely protrudes out of the mouse, and I don't know, I would just expect it to feel a bit better. It's also, like, slightly textured, but it still feels kind of off. I don't know, I'm actually not a fan of the scroll wheel. How is that possible? Um, I would just be expecting something better on a $100 mouse. Um, final thing to talk about, um, battery life and the sensor. Um, battery life, fantastic. Mine has died once in, like, over a week of use. Um, the sensor, it's their true move air, blah, blah, blah. It's some sensor. Um, it works well for me. Some people complain about the positioning, and I understand, like, why isn't it at the center? Um, apparently, this matters more if you wrist aim. It doesn't affect me at all. And to really sum up this mouse, it is just extremely flawed. It is nowhere near perfect, and it is not on par with, like, a lot of the wired mice I've been reviewing, like, feature-wise. Um, it still feels really nice to use, and I personally perform very well with it, um, even with, like, the sort of, like, scuffed, irritating fingertip grip. Um, but I just wouldn't really recommend you guys to spend $100 on it. It just isn't there yet. Maybe in a few batches it will be, but for now um, it's not a dud, but it's really just not that great. Um, just totally changing up the feet would probably be fucking ideal. Um, and just really like fixing the quality issues. I don't even know how they would begin to do that because there are many of them. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Make sure to leave a like and sub, and that's going to be all.